It's 23 GMT, 2 a.m. in Lebanon, where Israel has begun its ground offensive into the south. A short while ago, Israeli forces fired flares into the night sky amid heavy shelling. Israeli soldiers and military vehicles have been amassing along the border over the past several hours. Flares are commonly used to signal troops on the ground and light their path, as well as to confirm targets. Throughout Monday, Israeli airstrikes continued to target southern Lebanon. Intense bombing was seen in Marjayoun. By night, airstrikes hit the area of Tyre near the coast. Hezbollah says it's fighting back with shelling and rocket attacks. Several Israeli airstrikes have hit the southern suburbs of Beirut. A series of loud explosions were heard across the city just after midnight. Those attacks came shortly after Israeli forces repeated their same tactic of issuing chaotic evacuation orders that we have seen in Gaza. Meanwhile, in northern Israel, the army has declared closed military zones. Entry to the town of Metula on Israel's border with Lebanon has been prohibited. The communities of Kafar Giladi and Mizgav Am are also closed. Well, we have a team of correspondents covering all angles of this developing story in Washington, D.C., Beirut, Marjayoun, southern Lebanon. But first we go to Amman, Jordan, where Am Hamda Salhut is in. Across all the latest lines coming out of Israel, Hamda, in just the last few minutes, a statement from the Israeli military confirming that it's been conducting limited incursions into southern Lebanon. into sovereign Lebanese territory. An army statement said that this actually began a few hours ago after the approval from the political echelon within Israel. These are the meetings that we've been talking about over the last couple of hours that included the Israeli prime minister, his security cabinet, and then other security and defense officials. The army says that First, they launched these what they call targeted and precise raids based on intelligence and that they are going to launch this offensive on the ground in order to achieve their goals of restoring the balance of power along the border as well as returning those evacuated Israelis back to those towns and settlements that have been evacuated since the cross-border fire began. The Israeli army has said that they are looking to target Hezbollah posts and other military infrastructure in the border area. It it does not say how deep they plan to push into Lebanese territory, but make no mistake, this is now a full Israeli invasion into Lebanon.